Hi, Olympic gold medalist Russell Mark here from Go Shooting. In previous videos, we've discussed the basic stance, the gun mount, and the starting positions for when you're shooting the domestic disciplines of trap. Today, we want to step it up a notch and discuss some of the differences you'd have to make in your technique when you're shooting the international version of the trap game. The obvious difference between down the line or American trap and Olympic trap is the speed, height, and angle of the targets. In down the line, the maximum angle is only 22.5 degrees each side of centre, and the distance is only 48 metres. In Olympic trap, all targets travel 76 metres, and the angles can vary 45 degrees each side of centre. The heights can vary from 1.5 metres to 3 metres when measured 10 metres out from the trap. Ammunition in Olympic trap is restricted to 24 grams of shot, whereas in down the line, you can use 28 grams. In American trap, you can use 32 grams. Shot size number eight is very common in down the line, whereas in Olympic trap, it's pretty much exclusively seven one halves or even number seven shot. Larger shot is needed because Olympic trap has harder composition clay targets. DTL targets are notoriously soft, whereas the extra distance that Olympic trap targets are thrown means that the targets are made tougher. Here's a device that measures breakability on targets. It measures in Newton meters. The down the line target broke at 0.80 Newton meters, whereas the Olympic trap target breaks at 1.2. Bigger shot for harder clays, but that's a topic for another day. For down the line, shotguns tend to be heavier. 32 inch barrels are very common here with adjustable ribs and barrel weights of up to 1.8 kilograms. In Olympic trap, 30 inch barrels pretty much dominate the market. There's a few 32s out there, but 30 inch is considered the norm with barrel weights. 1.5 kilograms to 1.6 kilograms are considered pretty much ideal. Chokes used in Olympic trap is pretty much improved, modified or three quarter choke for the bottom barrel and everybody uses full choke in the top. Typically the second shot required in Olympic trap is for targets up to 35 to 40 meters away. Now one of the main technical differences between down the line and Olympic trap is the shooter's starting position of their gun in relation to the roof of the trap house. We've previously covered before, down the line shooters that use two eyes can hold their guns well above the roof of the trap house. That's because the targets are slower and they have a constant height. Because of this, that technique is very easy to adopt. In Olympic trap, the targets vary in height dramatically. So holding too far above the trap house can become dangerous. The other issue is the speed of the target. Everybody that shoots this discipline successfully shoots the swing through technique, and that's where a slow barrel speed will cause you a lot of grief. The easiest way to generate barrel speed is to swing the gun further. And of course, that's where the trade-off begins. The great majority of the world's Olympic trap shooters start their guns in this range. There are a few that have been very successful holding higher, but that's certainly not the norm. Holding high means you will need to make an explosive move to generate barrel speed, and this can often be hard to control under pressure. A word of warning about this white line that indicates where the center trap of your three machines releases its target. Depending on the program, it may not always be the point that the majority of your targets are appearing from. On some programs, the right target may appear here, and the left target here. Again, this is the left hand target appearing out of the bunker, and this is the right hand target. On programs where this is the case, this may be the correct hold point for your gun. There's a variety of stances that are used in Olympic trap, but the main difference between your Olympic trap stance and your down the line stance is for down the line, you tend to have a wider stance, which offers a lot more stability and balance. The shallow angles of down the line and of course less gun movement make this wider stance more preferable. But in Olympic trap, a narrower stance is needed because of the great angles and of course more gun movement that is required to break the target. These are some of the most common Olympic trap stances, typically where your body is pointed at 45 degrees. A lot of Europeans tend to open their bodies up a little bit more. As long as you can rotate equally to the left or the right, that stance is fine. A lot of people who are struggling with right hand targets tend to favor that side. That's great if you don't run out of swing to the left. And we've seen a lot of successful American shooters over the past few decades actually bend both knees by adopting this same stance. 
that's fine as long as you can move smoothly to the target. Now the last difference today that I want to talk about between your down the line and Olympic trap technique is what I call getting over the gun. You'll find many of the great down the line shooters can mount the gun having a very erect body and they can just bring the gun up and keep their eyes perfectly parallel. Often this is aided by a large Monte Carlo stock. Now that erect stance will cause you problems in Olympic trap when you have to move your body abruptly to the left or right. By bending your upper body and getting over the gun, it'll help you keep your head on the stock, but it does have its drawbacks. By getting over the gun, I mean get your body forward like this. But here's the drawback. If you get over the gun too much, you can have a tendency to look out of the top of your eyes. In Olympic trap more than any other game, you need your eyes working with you. You need to acquire the target absolutely immediately. Dropping your eyes too much and not seeing the target is not on the menu here. Olympic trap is a great discipline and I'd recommend it to anyone to try. Even if it's not your main game, use it to cross train. It'll help you sharpen up your reflexes and increase your target acquiring skills. I hope this has given you some insight into the world of Olympic trap. From all of us here at Go Shooting, we look forward to seeing you at one of our ranges really soon.